Hey guys, this is God of Politics, and welcome back to a brand new video. But before we get started with this video, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on Twitter, that's linked down in the description, and join the Discord, that is also linked down in the description. But today's video, I'm going to be talking about a recent event that has occurred in the race for the White House of 2020. It is Justin Amash, the congressman from Michigan's 3rd District since 2011, is now running for president on the Libertarian Party ticket. And this is a big event because we'll be talking about in this video who that is going to help. Does it help Biden? Does it help Trump? Because as it says in the title here of this MSNBC article, just an homage could affect 2020 outcome. But in what direction? Trump is thrilled to see Amash run for president on a third party ticketed. Those hoping to see Trump are alarmed. Are these assumptions right? So there are people on both sides saying that it's going to hurt it's going to hurt them and there are people on both sides saying that it's going to help them. I've seen people on the right say that it's going to help them and I've seen people on the right say it's going to hurt them. Justin Amash was formerly a Republican and he switched to the Independent Party after he disliked Trump. He was a never Trumper and he actually voted for Donald Trump's impeachment in 2019 and that was a very big moment for him because he is still on the right he supports small government you know traditional conservative ideas maybe some of those different from donald trump which could make him more to the right than donald trump on things like free trade on things like taxes even on things like entitlements which donald trump has not cut so far so he could be further to the right than donald trump which actually i think helps the argument for the for the that it hurts trump in the general election because actually we'll talk about that in a second but this is just kind of an overview of it. Just an homage. He was a former Republican, switched independent because he did not like Donald Trump. And now that, that he's running for president now, this is really going to shake up the race, in my opinion, in some ways. But there is another thing. First, he has to win the Libertarian Party nomination, and that's going to be a hurdle in and of itself because I'm not entirely sure the way that the Libertarian Party nomination works, but it's with delegates. And a lot of people have casted doubts on just an homage's ability to actually win the nomination, given the fact that he's only starting running in April and a lot of uh, a lot of – primaries have already been held for the Libertarian Party, and so, you know, that's going to have a big impact on, on whether he can actually get the nomination, but we're going to be assuming that he, he does get the nomination for this. First, looking at the polls here, we can see that in this is in the state of Michigan. The state of Michigan is the state that Justin Amash is from, probably undoubtedly, the state that Justin Amash would do the best in. As Gary Johnson did the best in New Mexico, for example, he was the governor of New Mexico. He got around 9% of the vote there. Justin Amash, if he's a libertarian candidate, he will probably do the best in Michigan, which actually is a swing state more so than New Mexico is. And so if we look at the map, if we look at the poll results here, we said the average has Biden up by 5.5. Most polls, at least recently, have not even been close. And the only poll that was close here is from the uh, from October here. But if you look at now, we see that the closest poll is Biden up by three. It does have a margin of error of four points, but and and a lot of undecided voters. So that could have room for Justin Moss to do very well. But we're going to be going back to this MSNBC article here and looking at the different scenarios. The first scenario is Amash could help Trump. There's a sizable chunk of the American electorate that's desperate to kick Trump out of office, and any effort that divides this chunk necessarily creates an advantage for the president. So you can obviously think that there is a united Democratic Party that wants to get Trump out of office, which has been you know, somewhat seen so far. I made a video talking about this. I'll have that in the cards. A video talking about why the never bought a move. It doesn't really matter because the Democratic Party is already more unified than it was in 2016. But this could kind of cause fractures in it if you have some Bernie voters who want to make a protest vote. I think it's more likely they'll vote for the Green Party than voting for Justin Amash. But, you know, some might go to Justin Amash. Some moderates might go to Justin Amash. Much. But really, I don't actually see this scenario as being very likely because it says here, the goal for Trump's detractors must be to consolidate those voters behind a credible major party rival, and in a race that's likely to be tight, splitting off even a small percentage of votes could make a difference. This is definitely true here. Just as much running in the Libertarian Party could take votes away from Trump, but you know Trump does have a very unified party. He has 95% approval rating in the Republican Party, but the Republican Party is not all the electorate, and so it'll be interesting to see where Justin Amash gets votes from. Does he get them from Democrats? Does he get them from Republicans? The next scenario is Amash will help Biden. It says here, giving disaffect to Republicans who'd never vote for a Democrat, another choice would help split the right, not the left. After all, Amash has been a very conservative lawmaker throughout his career, and there's been very, very little in his agenda that would appeal to moderate or progressive voters. Plus, he'll likely spend the next several months making the argument that Trump needs to be removed from office, and that will certainly 
dovetail with the democratic message. This, I think, is definitely true, if not more true than the first one, because you have to think, a man in Justin Amashi wants to cut all entitlements and is interested in free trade. That is really against everything that Bernie supporters stand for, and I really do not think that you'll see many Bernie supporters go to Justin Amash at all. If you look at the overall third parties, it may help Trump more than it helps Biden because you will have the Green Party uh, with Jesse Ventura or Howie Hawkins. You might have a lot of Bernie voters voting for the Green Party there, but – Looking at the Libertarians Party specifically, I think that the Libertarian Party, especially with a bigger name than uh, J Dan Hornberger, Justin Amash is certainly a bigger name. If Justin Amash, a bigger name, runs for a Libertarian Party, being a right-wing conservative himself, he will get right-leaning independence. He will get the ma small majority of, Don of Republicans that – you know, do not do not support Trump. The five percent of those, as well as you know, as well as the right leaning independents, and so I think that is a more likely scenario in which he hurts uh, Donald Trump more than he hurts Joe Biden because he again he is on the right. He's just running for a different party. He's not primary in Trump or anything. He's running for a different party, and he's going to be directly competing with Donald Trump when it comes to the twenty twenty election, and so. I think that's something, again, that we'll have to watch out for. And then there's the last one here. And let's not overlook the possibility that Amash won't make much of a difference either way. The congressman is not especially well-known to a national audience. Uh, he probably won't have a lot of money. He'll likely struggle to qualify for the debates. And a libertarian anti-government message during a pandemic and economic crash isn't likely to be persuasive to the vast majority of Americans. This is definitely true as well. I think that this might even be more likely than Amash helping Biden just due to the fact that, you know, third parties don't have too much of an impact either way. And when you have such a hotly contested election where it's, you know, it's going to be one or the other. We're going to have a lot of voters who just do not vote for a third party or will not even consider it. The polls had Gary Johnson higher than he actually turned out. Uh, his performance turned out to be he only got around 3% of the vote. Sometimes he pulled up in around 10%, especially around in September. But then the then the votes started to consolidate around Joe Biden, around Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. You'll see the same thing here with Joe Biden and Donald Trump even more so, I think, just because there is so much polarization, so much heated debate between you're going to have one or the other. Which one do you want? And, you know, there's arguments all the way, all, all the different ways, but I think overall it will have a small help. Justin Amash individually will help Biden. Justin Amash individually will help Biden. Third parties overall I don't think will have much of a difference. I think they might slightly help Donald Trump. If we look at this on the impact of the 2020 election here, this is all the states. I have all the tilt states in the toss-up column. Joe Biden is already at 232 electoral votes here. Donald Trump is only at 204 electoral votes. How is that going to impact the map? Well, if Justin Amash does hurt Joe Biden, let, let's, give, let's be generous to Joe Biden. We give Joe Biden Pennsylvania. We give Donald Trump North Carolina, Florida, Arizona, and Nebraska second district. And you give Pennsylvania to Joe Biden, and you even give him Wisconsin. That means that this comes down to Michigan. If Amash helps Biden... Joe Biden wins Michigan. If Amash helps Trump, Trump wins Michigan, therefore he wins the whole presidency. But if you give it back to Biden, he wins the presidency. So it could come down to that scenario. Or you could even give Wisconsin to Donald Trump, Arizona to Biden, and then it still comes down to the same thing where whoever wins Michigan. And if you give Pennsylvania to Biden, and you give Wisconsin to if you give Pennsylvania to Trump, Wisconsin to Biden, you know, then it becomes a tied scenario, and that becomes a whole different thing that you have to deal with. But there are many scenarios here. Amash, I, again, again, at the end of the day, I don't think third parties will make too much of a difference, but this is kind of just to talk about it in general. Overall, I think Amash might help Biden, but very by a very small amount overall. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Please like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitter, link down in the description, and join the Discord, linked down in the description. But as always, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.